You're going to open these up and you're going to click the stream tab on the left side. You're going to select the service as Twitch and then you're going to click connect account and you're going to log into your Twitch. Now, this is light years ahead of what it used to be. You used to have to go find your stream key and your Twitch settings and set this whole thing up manually. Now you're able to just log into Twitch via OBS. So log into your Twitch, hit apply and then hit OK. This may or may not pop up some extra docs, like these things you see here, my chat, my stream information, all this stuff. These are what we call docs, okay? These are linked to your Twitch. And if you don't see them, come up to the top and click docs, and you may see them in here, Twitch activity feed, Twitch stats, um, which is a really good one that I use to kind of track, you know, what's, what's happening, how many subs I'm getting during a stream, how many live viewers I have. If I was live, it would show you all this stuff. Um, your Twitch chat. So go to your docs. And if you see that stuff there, uh, click it, it'll pop up like this. It's not going to be tied into OBS. You can kind of drag it anywhere you want on your screen. But if you do want to tie it into your OBS, you could take it, bring it over to the right hand side here or the left side. I drop my chat there. And then I drop the activity feed here. These make tabs if you drop it on top of each other, which is also awesome. Um, so now in my OBS in one window, I can see my Twitch activity feed. I have my Twitch stats and then I have my Twitch chat right here. And if I was live, this stuff would also be live. So that is the number one thing you guys want to do if you're streaming on Twitch. This is not yet integrated for kick um, and YouTube. It's